With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So, the question is, read the following statement and select the correct ones. First is, vaccine is a preparation or suspension of a dead or attenuated pathogen of a disease which on inoculation or injection into a healthy person provides temporary or permanent active immunity by including antibodies formation. So, in the first point, have read about vaccines. So, vaccines are a preparation of a dead pathogen dead or sometimes it is uh, unactivated attenuated so the nucleus if it is a virus a uh, dangerous thing in that uh, that uh, nucleus will be removed that is called dead pathogen uh, some, some of this is will taken and it is injected into a healthy person injected into a healthy person and uh, it provides this provides a temporary or a permanent active immunity. So the natural immunity power in our body will create an immunity memory to fight against this dead pathogen inducing antibodies formation. So this will help if the back if the disease attacks us the immunity memory will fight against that and we did not get that disease again. So this is the use of vaccine and vaccine's uh, function is this. So the vaccine uh, is a dead pathogen is injected into a healthy person and it provides active immunity by inducing antibodies formation so that the disease does not affect the person another time. So the first one is correct. We have to select the correct ones. The first one is correct. And then we are moving on to the second point. Immunization is the process by which the body produces antibodies against the vaccine preventable diseases through administration of a specific vaccines. So the same only here is also giving the immunization is the process. Immunization. Immunization means acting our body to a specific immunity against a specific disease given by the vaccine. So immunization is the process by which the body produces antibodies against some vaccine that is administered into a body a specific vaccine. So this is called immunization and this is also the statement is also correct. Then we are moving on to the third point. The principle of immunization the principle of immunization or vaccination is based on the property of memory of the immune system. So this is an important thing. First day we seen in the vaccines so these uh, process of immunization or vaccination both immunization immunity of our body or vaccination providing vaccines to our body to create antibodies against some diseases is under the principle of is under the principle of uh, memory so So, the principle of immunization or vaccine is based on the property of memory of the immune system is the correct. So, if the vaccine creates an antibody against uh, that disease, it will be stored in the memory of the immune system. This is the principle of immunization or vaccination and third one is also correct. 
Now move on to fourth one. If a person is infected, person is infected with some deadly micro microbes to which quick immune response is required. In that case, we need to directly inject the performed antibodies or antioxidants. For example, in case of tetanus. So, if the person is, uh, if some person is uh, infected by uh, a deadly microbe, a deadly microbe, they have given the example of tetanus. Tetanus is a disease uh, in which our muscles, especially in the face, become uh, unable to move become hard the muscles become hard and impossible to the cause for this is if uh, any open wound is found in our body uh, through that open wound a bacteria enter into the body and this creates tetanus so if some of the deadly microbes en enter into our body uh, so we have to artificially give some antibodies against that bacteria or pathogen to uh, remove it to fight against uh, our body so the fourth one is also the correct option so the answer is one two three and four all are correct thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.